Hi, so we're going to do another gray mocking project video. We haven't done a video in a while and the reason for that is we had a long break um, after about May or actually early June. It was just, it was a lot of rain here in Palm Beach County. It was very hot, really humid and the it was just a heaven for, for bugs. So we've had a long break and decided to start planting again in the fall which I think is what most people in South Florida do. And over here, this was where the veggie patch was, where all the tomato plants were. And they're, we've taken them all down. And the black tarp covering it is trying to do some soil solarization. And that's Jerry walking along here. <laughs> some soil solarization to help kill off nematodes. What we're actually doing is we're cooking the dirt here, trying to get it above 160 degrees to take the weed out and also kill off some of the bad um, bio atmosphere in there is what we're doing and it'll come up and then we'll replant it and uh, it'll be uh, natural yeah not organic it'll be natural mm -hmm. and, uh, so that's next thank you yeah and some of the tarp blew up just with with some wind and rain and if you pan around we have a few different projects going on right now and we'll get, we're going to do another video with more in-depth detail about the products. So that's Brian. He's the director of the community garden. We're building a couple of compost bins. Plant inside? Yep. We'll yeah. Compost. We're going to be, the inside is going to have the compost. And in the square bins, I think we're going to be planting some vegetables on the top. And they're going to have the a... The round one is the Japanese tomato ring. And what happens is we compost in the middle where everything goes in the middle and we'll plant tomato bushes around the outside, about six of them with about a 24 inch gap in between. And as it rains, the compost will settle down and actually leach out. So therefore your tomato bushes will be full of nutrients. And that's what you're trying to achieve more than anything is nutrient dense vegetables. Yep. Something that is very hard to find nowadays. So we're filling it up with dirt and uh, manure and hay and clippings which would be green waste. And um, as it sits in the sun, and this is why we have the white on here, it actually heats it up and uh, cooks it down. It's gotta always get above 160 degrees for it to compost properly. Oh, and so that'll help kill with nematodes too if yep. we had them in there, okay. Yep. So it will help knock it all down. And then this square one here is the one where we plant on top. Yeah, this is gonna be a yeah. raised bed. And about a year from now, once we pull this up, what actually happens is we'll actually turn this bin over, and what we'll get is the, uh, it's called black gold, will be highly nutrient um, topsoil compost, and uh, what we'll do is we'll start spreading that across the top of the plants, almost like a fertilizer. And what happens is when the compost is in and you're growing, um, it adds a, a layer of protection to your plants. So therefore, nothing can attack it. Um, all kinds of different pathogens out there. So it helps uh, put a thicker layer of skin on the plant. Mm -hmm. It keeps it from being attacked by all kinds of things. Good. There's other specific ones. I don't know what they are right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's very specific. OK, thank One you. One day I'll get them all. OK. Um, all right. All right, and then we have, um, like I said, I'm going to do another another video probably we have some students coming to help out with the garden so that's the manure pile and the compost Take a video pile of the bus coming in, he okay oh is the bus coming in there it is right there oh <laughs> now we have the the bus of the students coming in they're coming in from palm beach atlantic university we have 55 students i think they're biology majors maybe or environmental students and they're going to come and help out and then we're going to go in through, once they come, they have different assigned projects. We're going to go around and see what they're doing. And thank you. And we'll tune in again in just a moment. 